master web development with Skill Bakery. Hey everyone, ready to level up your web dev skills? Introducing SkillBakery.com premium courses starting at just $6 or 500 rupees. Sign up today and learn in demand skill sets. Unlock your potential today at SkillBakery.com. Hello and welcome to another exciting video. In this one, we'll see how we can handle asynchronous JavaScript with any all settled and race promise methods. So the first one that we'll be covering is the promise.any method. Now this takes an iterable of promises and returns a promise that fulfills with the first promise that fulfills and rejects when all of the promises in the iterable reject. In other words, we can simply say that promise.any returns the first promise that fulfills ignoring any that reject. So over here, you can see that we have three promises, promise one, two, and three. And over here, we are calling the set timeout. This one, we are saying that rejected, and the message that should appear is error one. Then we have resolve and resolve. If we take the code over here, the promise one rejects after 100 milliseconds. Promise two, resolves after 200 milliseconds and promise 3 resolves after 300 milliseconds. Now, promise.any returns a promise that fulfills with the value of promise 2, as you can see over here, since it is the first one to fulfill. And that's what you see over here. For promise.any, the result 2 is the message that is appearing. Going on, the next one is promise dot all settled now promise dot all settled returns a promise that fulfills after all the promises have settled either resolved or rejected with an array of results so here as you can see we have these three promises a b and c and we are making use of the all settled method and here we are simply saying console dot log promise dot all settled and then we are talking about the results. The result, as you can see over here in the browser console, we have three output coming up. First status says fulfilled, and the value says a result A, as you can see over here, because that was resolved. And then we have the status rejected for this promise, promise B. And that's the reason why you see the error B over here. And the third one comes as result C and status as fulfilled. So promise dot all settled returns an array of objects indicating the status and value or reason for each promise. Now the last one that we'll be covering is promise dot race. Now this returns a promise that fulfills or rejects as soon as one of the promises in the iterable fulfills or rejects. So if we look at the example over here for promise XYZ, the first one over here says resolve in 100 millisecond. The second one says resolve in 200 milliseconds. And the third one says reject in 50 milliseconds. So as you can see, the reject is the first one in this to be executed. That is, promise X takes around 100 milliseconds to resolve, promise Y takes 200 milliseconds to resolve, and promise Z takes 50 seconds to reject. So promise.raise returns a promise that rejects with error Z because it is the first promise to settle, in this case to reject, and that's what you see over here, promise.raise error, error Z. Now these examples illustrate how each method, that is any, all settled, and race handles multiple promises differently and returns results based on their individual rules. 